Hi everyone, my name is Gomez and in this video we are going to walk through the process of hosting a static app for free on DigitalOcean. Before we get started, make sure you have already set up your static application on your local server and that it's running smoothly. Here is my application that we are going to host and let me just show you uh, what it looks like. And here is the application that we are talking about. It's a static application. I created this using uh, Tailwind CSS and HTML with some JavaScript. So we've made sure that our application is learning. And also another thing that you need to make sure of is you have an entry HTML. The default is index.html. This is very important. Now, for those who might be new to this, a static site is a website that consists of pre-built pre and changing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. So unlike a dynamic website which generates content on the server side, static sites are later to be saved directly to the users. The next step is having your project hosted on GitHub. If you are unsure how to do that, no worries. I've got a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to push your code to GitHub. And once your code is on GitHub, we'll move on to hosting it for free on DigitalOcean. And here is uh, the exciting part. In the video description below, you'll find a link to DigitalOcean. By using this link, you can unlock $200 in credit to use on their platform which makes hosting even easier and cost effective. So be sure to create your account uh, using that link. So now I am on DigitalOcean on their website. What I'll do is I will log in since I already have an account with DigitalOcean. Okay, so once you have set up your account with DigitalOcean, you will see something similar to this. You may not uh, see things like uh, drop rates and everything because you haven't created those yet. But what I want uh, to draw your attention to is this section. So there are a lot of things you can do in DigitalOcean, but what we want to do is uh, use the apps section to host a static application for free. So we are going to create an app and then since we have uploaded our application to GitHub already, we are going to uh, choose GitHub. It may require you to authenticate with GitHub if you're doing it the first time. Just authenticate and then select the uh, repository that you want. In this case, this is the repository that I'm looking for. And then remember that the structure of our repository should look something similar to this. It should have an index.html inside because this uh, will be used as the entry point for your application or the home page for your application. Once we have done that, you can select auto deploy so that once you make any changes to GitHub, then it will automatically redeploy your application after doing that we can uh, edit this if you want and maybe give it your own name i will just call it a news website save this and then once i've done that i can go on environmental variables if you want if you want to add any environmental variables but in this case we are not adding any environmental variables this will be left uh you can leave this uh, to be decided by digital ocean and then uh, come here i will click on next review here you can uh, you have to select here to edit your plan so basically 
the, it says the basic and pro plans are available for apps with dynamic resources so we we want to use the, a free version so it will be this data plan and then here you can just cross check it says monthly cost is zero um and then once you've done that we can go back and then go on the view and then down here uh you can see it says monthly up cost zero dollars you can edit the plan if you want to use maybe a paid plan but i will use the free version and then we can go ahead and create the resource and then you can see now it's building our application and here are the logs and then you can see all oh, these are all our images our files and everything and it says build complete so DigitalOcean will figure out what application you're using and then it will see the best way to deploy your application so you don't have to worry about a lot of things it will do the heavy lifting for you and here it says deployed successfully so we can go here to access our application and then you can see this is the application that um, we were seeing on our local host and now is on DigitalOcean. So this is how you deploy your static application on DigitalOcean for free. I will also create another video where I talk about how you can deploy a static application on GitHub pages for free. The only difference is that GitHub pages will require you your application to uh, be public while if you don't want to make your application public, then the best way to go is to host it on DigitalOcean for free. You can also, the good thing with DigitalOcean is you can easily connect this to your domain name. So I will create another tutorial if you want guys, uh, where I can talk about how you can point a domain name to your static application in DigitalOcean. That will make it look more professional. So that's it for this video. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a great time.